Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy up next. Man, I'm gonna come back with another video. Hey, man, say, man, look, man, first link in the description under clothing brand upnextlifestyle.com. Y'all see what time it is, man. The content machine is here. Upnextlifestyle.com, I, I up though, y'all. Uh, first link in the description, make sure you go shop, make sure you go cop up next set in line. Beanie, it's cold as hell outside. But like I was saying, man, y'all see what time it is, man. The content machine is here. You know what I'm saying? We got the boy DJ Academics needed intervention Intervention after girlfriend exposed him, man. Let's hop straight into it. I did already watch this video. Just because of the simple fact, I, I was literally recording and it stopped recording. So I got to record the whole thing. Um, but y'all know I usually have, y'all know I usually do the reaction videos like that, but it was a mistake, so, I mean, I don't know. Huh? Oh, yeah, and shout out to the mediocre, mediocre tutorials and reviews. Make sure I go subscribe, make sure I go like his video, all right, because this is a well-constructed, put-together video, and I respect it. What are you talking about? Again, before like you try to like, so that's I mean, it's like, why are you like? I know you for real in real life. <laughs> you see how slow that nigga got up? That nigga was moving in slow motion. <laughs> moving in slow motion. For the life of me, I will never understand the mindset of a man that goes on a path towards excellence, goes on a path towards achievement. Mm -hmm. goes on a path towards being the best at what they do in their given field mm -hmm. and choose to sacrifice everything that they built up for a termite of a woman. DJ mm -hmm. Academics is down bad incredibly mm -hmm. after being disrespected a multitude of times by his girlfriend. And let me also say this before we get into this content, mm -hmm. why it's important to go over content like this. Because Thanks. outside of his fame, his notoriety, him having multiple millions of dollars through his success in his businesses and his utility. Mm -hmm. DJ Academics is just a man experiencing the modern culture today. And because he chooses to live his life publicly through outsiders capturing his life with his woman out and about to his own self-admitted bullshit with said woman, we can learn from that. And I tell you guys all day that intelligent people learn from their own mistakes, but wise people learn from other people's yeah, mistakes. But his wise. level of simp is absolutely ridiculous. And I didn't realize it was as bad as what it is until I started doing research for this video. So buckle up, get your notepad ready, and be prepared for the lessons. But guys, remember this as we go through the totality of this video. No matter how much success that you gain within your life, no matter how much money that you earn within your life, unless you fix your internal issues, Facts. the money, the power, the success will do nothing to solve these Facts, issues. Man. In fact, I think that we that we disregard our our. Uh, now getting into the content, I think you guys remember. I think we disregard. I'm not gonna. I think I know y'all hate when I pause and stuff like. But this is my reaction, right? Y'all can go over to this channel. Y'all can watch the whole entire video without interruptions because this is my reaction. Okay, so I think that men have to understand we have to work on ourselves internally before we can build the empire that we desire. This has happened about a year and a half ago where DJ Academics went on to the Fresh and Fit podcast mm -hmm. and yelled at a young woman for what seemed like no apparent reason at all. Is the real rap. Is your voice that deep or at least you got like the work? Voice. Why you want me to make a little bit of noise? No, like I'm not. I'm just saying, yeah. if I heard pot smoke talking from heaven while I'm stroking, I'm soft. <laughs> Real rap. It was a really weird situation, notably with DJ Academics yeah, popping funny. off at that this was, chick who had some <laughs> had some good ass replies back, and he couldn't handle it. Weird. Also with Sneeko yeah. adding to the sneak diss and this weird Batman and Robin <laughs> dynamic that they had going on. And then also notably, Mike Rashid, who's known for being good with women, just standing back and just paying attention silently why all of the BS was going on around him. I bet your boyfriend ever slightly. It was the matter. I bet your boyfriend ever slightly. But he can't f*** better than you would, so. But I bet you live in a f***ing section in housing, and I live in a 
fucking mad shit with him. Yeah, God, he's he's that that was, oh you, still, you still unhappy. Oh, oh, oh. If you wasn't unhappy, it wasn't be, be, being being aggressive oh, in the room. Yeah. I'm she, like, she, she, you, listen to what she just said. You are not happy, baby. Like you got, you got to stop. Like be acting like weird. No, 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 just... no. Shout out to bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro. Get them ass rolling. No, 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 no. Happy. Happy. no, no. It's I'm... not my problem if you weren't happy. Like I'm very happy I'm, with I'm, my life. What do you think won't happen? Because you're angry. Know, like oh. being no, no, weird. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you a question. You sound so, like. No, no, no. Relax. Relax, sir. Mm. Your man is here. And okay. he, couldn't, he couldn't afford to get in this building, okay? Let me tell you this. Hey, let me also call this out as well. He doesn't know. I mean, I'm sure he has security and shit like that. Truth be told, you don't know who her husband is. Facts. Yo, Chai. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. you, you, <laughs> you a so masculine looking to the face tattoo some fake titties, man. We think you're a nigga. Ew. To keep it real, we need a DNA yeah, no, test, man. No, real shit. What's going on right now? What is she doing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so we think you're a nigga. Why is that? No, she don't. We 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 don't. Yeah. And, and 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 here's the thing, Mike is absolutely upset right now, and I think it's for good reason. Yeah. If you a nigga, they'll hop in. Oh, he's leaving. They, they will hop in because he's talking about them. He's talking about women. With eventually Mike Rashid leaving the platform, As because should, within Mike Rashid's mind, who has great relationships with women, he's thinking to himself, the loudest person in the room, or the loudest man in the room, is more often than not the weakest. So why would I Thanks. continue to be on a podcast with these weak men yelling at a woman who is physically weaker than them? Coward. Stop. You're my, you're my nigga. You nigga That's like coward that. shit, bro. We are from the south. We do not condone this. Real niggas don't condone. My boy, the Airbnb that I rented, that I paid. Nigga, and you no, proud of you? Don't come over here talking. You're proud of you oh, paying for an Airbnb and you don't oh, get no oh, cheeks, but the man's dead. Bitch, I just hear now. You said you had the loosest p*** he fucked in 10 years. And you'll also notice when continuing to scream that is Big Ack in the building, right? Yeah. Well, Big Ack later on that night got checked by his girl. As a man of value and substance, you have to understand this behavior amongst men in these social circles. They do it as a way, hey, listen, I bro. guess, to intimidate other the females. They're going to sniff it out, it bro. If they know you a dog, guess what? They're going to play you. They're going to play the role. You feel me? But they know you a dog. They're going to take advantage of you. Meanwhile, the man is weak and pathetic. When you're truly a valuable man who deserves respect, there is no need for being loud, boisterous, or peacocking, especially to people that are weaker than you and that never even started the situation to begin with. But what he was trying to do was to publicly roast this woman, but I really think that it came off as insecure. I think that he's projecting his own insecurities regarding women Thanks. onto this one woman because she seemed easy to pick on, but Thanks. he found out later that she wasn't. But what's hilarious is that after all of this big act in the building stuff that he was throwing out, the following situation happened later that night. That nigga holding a purse. Man, she snatched her hat. There's respect for me. It sounds like three women arguing Facts. as he's carrying his Facts. purse. What's crazy is, is that um, he's yelling at her to stop fighting this chick with the red hair <laughs> and he walks up to her and she Boy, tosses his hat off of his head he gets no respect Yo, from this woman we come to find out later that this woman right here is actually his girlfriend let's keep watching so he walks away i'm the so i'm the So I need to blur this out for YouTube, but they start said, scrapping again. The girls. He said, "Any nigga in here ain't got more money than me." As white people walk past. All right. Now right. some other men coming. And, and I'm not saying that white people got more money than me, but like if they're in your facility, in your area, and you acting like this, of his domicile. This is not a man that is in control bad. of his situation. This is not a man that is in control of his woman. All Thanks. while screaming that he is the prize. This ain't 
for and, the and, prize and, behavior. And let's get See, this let's let's women. get this understood. You don't have to control women. Your woman has to have self control, and you have to have self control. You don't have to There's control no your woman. With this toxic drama. There's no dealing with your bullshit. There's no dealing with your mouth. I'll be goddamn if I'm a public figure and I'm out in public screaming several yeah, yeah, octaves above my talking voice to I get did. you to listen to me. But instead, the dynamic is is that the girlfriend runs shit and disrespects him. But MT Army, listen to me. If the woman that you're in a relationship with or the woman that mm. you're dating disrespects you, that's tough. then that's your fault not hers you go. might as well get rid of her and start all over again Mandatory. because as a man once you lose respect from so your woman good. there's little to nothing you can do in order to get it back you should have held frame from the beginning i mean once a nigga once, once a nigga they know that they can but over once the a nigga disrespect you it's over with you know what i'm saying like you just gotta walk away from that nigga bro you can't show that nigga oh you're supposed to respect me Hell no, I'll walk away. On tape, demonstrating how exactly toxic that she is. No cap with you. No, I ain't even capping with you. He's live streaming. Yo, look at <laughs> it. Everything you told me, gang. No, no, no. Look at it. Yeah, Fefe. The detective. The crazy part <laughs> is. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, FBG <laughs> butter. <laughs> he told. It's, it's crying in the police station with an uh, Alfred Davis signature. He egged So he signed papers. He signed a statement. All right, so. Yes, in the police station. Same, same case I got, yes. Yeah, doing the same shit, but signing the papers in the police station, man. We got to find that video. How is this I'm the prize behavior? Please, somebody tell me. You're a multi-millionaire, my G. You can have... Whatever woman, oh, let me not say whatever woman. You can have a <laughs> lot more women in this world than the average man can. Listen, bro, you ain't gonna get no real woman being no coward, bro. They sniff that shit out. They sniff it out. You ain't gonna better. Listen, at the end of the day, you can have all the money in the world, but you're not gonna be able to raise a king. You're not gonna be able to raise a son if you're a coward. Fresh and fit, but the closest woman to you. Treats you like this. Fact. She's assaulting you. She's bullying you. Fact. This shit is incredible. Publicly. I don't know whether or not to keep on commentating over this shit or call the cops not that she's hitting cops. you. But the bullying and the bullshit doesn't stop there. Shorty gonna send pictures or really like weird things of me to yeah, like Adam 22 pictures. and Troy Ave. She's like, oh, I'm gonna show these that really I'm your and I got pictures of you that nobody would want to see. And I'm like, this is why I'm even here. It's like police raided my crib. They kicked my door off. My mama was at my crib. They only kicked my door off. In reality, my mama didn't know what was going on. They put everybody in cuffs. I'm in cuffs. Even my mama is in cuffs. We're all sitting there. What's going on? I'm like, I'm still wondering, like, what's going on? I'm like, so there was a woman that came to my house. That woman claimed she was assaulted. Not by me, by other people. She was getting trained by my two bands. Like, on my pool deck, the night before when I'm sleeping. I said, I I'm said to her, deck. I said, yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two niggas just raw. I ain't seen no condom, no none. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like, they're saying, oh yeah, Shorty got R-worded. Academics got the tape, it's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. So that's their whole mentality. Act don't want to give up the tape. I could have had this woman in jail for still, four years. You still... Are y'all listening to me? For 40 years. Why didn't you do this? That's gonna come get a different result. There's a time I used to have a million dollars. She could have had you locked away for 40 years. Do you know this old half a million dollars? You better in reverse. I don't know that bitch. Cash. Bro, I had them in safes and all the time. I'm not checking the money all the time. I had money just sitting there. I gambled it. When Shorty moved to Houston, like whatever. You know, we like broke up or whatever. Not really deep. Nigga, I got a million dollars in cash. A million. <laughs> not talking about 50. I'm in. <laughs> she goes to Houston. You a duck. <laughs> Immediately she buys you a duck. A hundred and forty thousand dollar car. You a duck. She gets an apartment. Oh, I'm right over the Toyota Center. Okay. By the way, she took the money in June when she first moved to Houston. I got that money back in like October. <laughs> it's not like, oh yeah, I took it for like a couple days. Never mind. For months. <laughs> a duck. I'm dating academics. I could never another nigga without him telling you. Bro, you know how she got around that? Just don't anybody lit in the industry. Bummest niggas possible. Like the niggas who got yo. Let me tell you why, nigga. You ain't laying it down. Right? Bro, I went through her phone, nigga. She was cash apping the niggas. With I'm your like, money. Bro, That's tough. You're 
Niggas, you are sending money? I'm done with you, bro. Like, it's over. It is beyond crazy to me that you allow <laughs> this woman so close within your life that she has the opportunity to do this laundry list of toxic shit to you, and you have not yet completely removed her from the situation. And, you know what I realized about women? Anytime a woman is bitching like, on how much money you really you're got, that's a problem. Nigga. She was like, yo, I don't know why you be telling people you're a millionaire. Nigga, I seen your, I seen your TD bank shit. You had 400,000 in there, and I'm like, bitch, you know how many bank accounts I got? Tell you know where my money comes from? Bitch, I'm making that a month. <laughs> Fuck is you talking? But I'm like, yeah, that's a problem. Like, a woman really just, she clocking my bread like that. Like, why you is you clocking dog. It's like she want to know how much yeah. money I got, who I sent it to. Nigga, my computer, if I leave my computer open for one second and go take a piss, she going to come back. Yo, who'd you cash app this? Who'd you PayPal this? Who did you pay this? Why is, yo, to the point that even, like, she start asking me why I'm paying my employees. I'm like, nigga, what you mean why I'm paying my employees? You think they work for me for free? You accuse her of stealing a half a mil. You accuse her of getting her cheeks blasted by the homies. She's assaulting you. She's uploading private information and pictures to your Discord. She's putting you and your mother in danger with these allegations of R word. And she continues to embarrass you. But I learned a lesson. The way how you cheat on me and did me, I realized. That nigga sound like a female. Hey, man, it's all good. Am I my lesson? What are you talking about? Why you cheated on me? All right, so that's DJ Academic's voice in the background. He's currently at his girlfriend's and crib, and you can hear him, like, cupcaking or compromising with her in regards to her having cheated with him. Now, you're going to see a second. He's just laying on her couch in her crib, Probably but he doesn't know yet it. that she's violating him because she is live on her Instagram. Wow. Pay attention. <laughs> she's laughing. What the f are you even talking about right now? violated, bro. Make sure I'm still recording, y'all. I'm haunting, like, I'm, I'm traumatized. Huh? Why are you trying to take pictures? What are you talking about? He thinks though. it's a Stupid picture. The laser, I don't care. <laughs> Watch how slow he get up. Nigga ain't catch up. Again, before like you try to like talk shit about me, it's like, why are you like I know you for real in real life? Look. <laughs> she playing with his ass. She's laughing. Nigga, game, bro. This is this is fun to her. Look at he's running out the crib. And they ain't got no shoes on. Like, <laughs> like, no shoes on, bro. <laughs> This no is funny to her. No on, His <laughs> image is funny to her. She don't respect him at all. Let's take a look at DJ it's Academics real quick. I really think at this point, DJ Academics needs an intervention. I mean, because think of it at intervention. the point where you have this obvious... What clean body you wash does... You need a... You need a... You need a... You need more than an intervention, boy. Inviting into your life. You're over at her crib. Taking a look at him right here. I mean, he's gained a severe amount of weight i know a lot of times on his live streams he's drinking henny he's drinking all this poison or this alcohol and shit like that i think that that is to numb the internal pain that he is going through his hair is all messed up all while pleading with his terrorist rat finkel girlfriend pleading with her regarding getting her back torn out by other men looking at him at the couch right here it is a prime example dj academics is a prime example how success, money, fame, Don't fortune will not make you a valuable well, you or even a inside. high value it's man. And it also size. demonstrates that not success, not money can fix your problems, your internal <laughs> issues Facts. that allows a woman like that I deep within so your funny. life. Even his own followers thinks that he needs help. I found this on his subreddit, Ack need help. I'm convinced this dude has no real friends. How are you gonna let Che, that's his girlfriend, do all that bullshit on the like internet like that. pretty much made you look like you was an artist and yeah, then your man's allegations I they giving his ass hell bro they giving his ass hell at some point you gotta accept your boy has a type <laughs> probably won't change anything until he hits absolute rock bottom but a man that is attracted to three important decisions in your life because she will have the power to inspire you to the greatest of heights or plunge you to the deepest parts of your damaged soul. Thanks. Money cannot unsimp you because whether or not you're a multi-millionaire or an average earner, simping Simp. is never pimping. This thing is crazy. Questions, comments, concerns.
Man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. It's currently almost 3 a.m. in the morning. I appreciate y'all. And of course, I didn't pause how we usually pause. Like I said, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, and I currently watch this video. Like this is my my second time. So <sighs> make sure y'all comment down below any concerns, any comments that y'all have, um, any type of feelings that y'all got. Peace.